Okay. Okay. All right, I'm here with the uh, 180 uh, pressure tuned solar scope, and I've got it mounted to a Celestron CG4. Um, I added some stability to the CG4 mount by adding a couple of 10 pound dumbbell weights uh, underneath the accessory plate and then tightening up the bolt. That adds a considerable amount of stability to the mount. Uh, this is really a pretty good mount. Its uh, weight capacity is uh, 20 pounds, uh, and it's uh, got ball bearings in both axes. It's got really smooth motion. There's no play in either axis. And I've got the aftermarket motor kit hooked up here. Uh, that works very nicely. I mean, the mount is uh, like $275, and the motor kit's another $125. You can't beat it for the price. It's really excellent. What's really nice about this pressure tune system is this is the pressure tuner. Uh, you turn it in both directions to either increase the pressure or decrease the pressure. And what that does is it allows surface detail uh, of the sun to come in uh, in a certain phase. And then as you turn it clockwise, you increase the pressure. It brings in the solar prominences. Um, and actually today, there's a very nice prominence because it's completely separated from the limb of the sun. Um, this is a very nice setup. You, incre uh, you adjust the focusing, the crude focus of the uh, scope by moving the draw tube of the diagonal in and out. Once you've got it, uh, once you've got rough focus achieved with that, you've got a 10 to 1 focuser here, and that's really nice. The only improvement I could see Lunt making with the pressure tuner is it takes quite a bit of torque, especially as you increase uh, the pressure on the tuner. It takes quite a bit of torque to turn this thing down, uh, which moves the scope as you're looking through it. So unless you've got a, a mount that's rated for like 50 or 60 pounds, and you got this thing mounted to it, uh, as you turn the, the pressure tuner, you're going to have movement in the image. I could see Lunt uh, uh, maybe making the threads on the pressure tuner uh, twice as fine as they are, or adding like a 2 to 1 or a 3 to 1 fo uh, adjuster on the pressure tuner like they do on the focuser uh, to make the uh, tuning uh, a much more fine. Uh, but no nonetheless, it's a very nice system, and I'm very pleased with it. Well worth the money.